the future of humanoid robots is unfolding right in front of us. And today, two names stand at the center of attention, Tesla's Optimus and Figure Zero Two. Both are designed to reshape industries. Both are aiming to become everyday helpers. But their paths and their progress look very different. So, let's dive into the battle of Figure versus Optimus and explore which one might lead the next robotics revolution. High Voltage Quick Note If you love exploring the future of AI and robotics, hit subscribe now so you don't miss what's coming next. Let's begin with Tesla's Optimus. Backed by Elon Musk's vision, Optimus was introduced as part of Tesla's long-term plan to go beyond electric cars and clean energy. The idea is simple yet ambitious. Create a general-purpose humanoid robot that can perform tasks we don't want to do. Optimus benefits from Tesla's ecosystem. It uses the same AI technology developed for self-driving cars, along with advanced cameras, sensors, and Tesla's Dojo supercomputer. In demos, we've seen Optimus walk independently, balance smoothly, and handle basic tasks, like carrying boxes, sorting objects, and even folding clothes. Tesla has also been experimenting with new designs. Recent versions have showcased improved hand dexterity, sleeker body structures, and even different finishes, like the eye-catching gold and black models. But here's the key point. Tesla's vision is scale. Musk has said that Optimus could eventually be produced by the millions, at a cost lower than a car. If Tesla delivers on that, Optimus could become the most widely available humanoid robot in the world. Now, let's turn to Figure Zero Two. Unlike Tesla, Figure isn't building cars or rockets. It's a robotics-first company, entirely focused on perfecting humanoid design. And the results are impressive. In recent demonstrations, Figure Zero Two has shown remarkably smooth human-like movements. It can use both arms in coordination, reorient fragile items like plates, adapt to messy setups, and even recover when something goes wrong. This level of dexterity is critical because real-world environments are unpredictable, and Figure seems determined to make its robots capable of working right alongside people. What really sets Figure apart is its AI partnerships. They're working with OpenAI to integrate natural language capabilities. That means figure robots won't just move intelligently. They'll also understand instructions, communicate naturally, and learn from conversations. On top of that, major backers like Microsoft, NVIDIA, and OpenAI itself are fueling figures' rapid growth. This gives the company both financial power and access to cutting-edge technology. So how do Optimus and Figure compare? Tesla has unmatched global reach, a proven track record of mass production, and a CEO who thrives on ambitious bets. Optimus might not be the most advanced today, but Tesla's strength lies in its ability to manufacture at scale, potentially flooding the market when the time is right. Figure, on the other hand, is smaller but more agile. It's showing faster technical progress in areas like dexterity, motion, and AI-driven interaction. If Optimus represents the power of scale, Figure represents the power of specialization. The bigger picture? This isn't just about two companies competing. It's about the dawn of an entirely new industry. Humanoid robots will soon be in our factories, our warehouses, and eventually in our homes. Whether Tesla wins with mass adoption or Figure leads with cutting-edge performance, one thing is clear. Humanoid robots are no longer science fiction. They're here, they're evolving fast, and they're about to transform the way we live and work. So what do you think? Will Tesla's Optimus dominate with scale and affordability? Or will Figure's precision and intelligence give it the edge? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy staying updated on the future of AI and robotics, make sure to subscribe and join me on this journey.